What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 12th intermediate draft tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over some more collections methods and I'm going to be talking specifically about the method add all. And what you can do in this tutorial is take elements from one collection and add to another collection. Simple enough, but there's some uh, little things you need to take note of. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you have everything imported from the class Java Util. Um, you only need like four things imported, but go ahead and import everything because might as well be lazy. And the first thing we need to do is create an, an array, and it's going to hold string data. And you can pretty much put anything in it. So go ahead and put, um, let's add a little comment. Make sure your caps lock is undone. Convert stuff array to a list. Actually, I probably don't need comments for this, but oh well. And then go ahead and put string. And you can name your array anything you want. I'm going to name mine stuff. Or you can, I'm probably going to be putting food in it. So let's go ahead and put like four or five things. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to put apples for one. And beef. And let's see what else pops into my head. Corn. And ham. Try to make it all the same type of, um, like I'm making mine all foods. And then I'll make my other array like all websites or something and that's going to help a uh, view for this demonstration so now we have an array created and it's called stuff simple enough and now what we need to do is take this array and convert it to a list so the easiest way to do that is go ahead and put list we're going to be casting string data into this and I'm going to name it list one and go ahead and set it equal to arrays dot as list and of course that's a built-in method from the arrays class and as a parameter it takes what array do you want to convert into a list? So I named mine stuff, so I'll go ahead and pass stuff in there for the parameter. And now we have an array created and we passed it in to view it as a list named the list one. So now aside from this, since we need two lists or two collections for the demonstration, let's go ahead and create another list right now. And this is gonna be an array list. Um, unlike the first one that's a list, this is going to be changing and remember an array has a certain size but array list is dynamic it can change size so that's why I'm using the uh, collection array list and go ahead and we're going to be putting string data into it and might as well name it list2 for simplicity and set this equal to new array list and we need to put string in with empty parameters and what we did now is we pretty much created another list an array list but it has nothing in it right now. So in order to add elements to an array list, go ahead and type the name of the list, and mine is a list two, and then put add, and then as your argument, you just put what you want to add to the list. So I said website, so let me put YouTube, and go ahead and just copy this. I don't feel like typing it again. Copy, and we'll add like three things to this. So put YouTube, Google, and dig. Some of my three favorite websites right there. So what we have here is we have list one, which is populated with apples, beef, corn, and ham. And we have list two, which right now it has YouTube, Google, and dig in it. So what we want to do is, first of all, let's just go ahead and print out list two. So we'll make an enhanced for loop and put string x list two. And we'll go ahead and test this out just to see if it prints out first. So system out, we'll do print format since it's the easiest way. And for argument zero, just go ahead and put like um, percent s, and then go ahead and pass x into here. And let's go ahead and see if this program works first. Run it. Okay. So right now it prints out list two, and this is the list we're going to be changing: YouTube, Google, Dig. So everything's going good so far. So go ahead and after your for loop, what we want to do is we want to add elements from the stuff to the list to array so go ahead and put collections dot add all and as your parameter um, go ahead and put list to and also stuff and what this does right here is it takes all the elements from stuff and it adds it to list to so let's go ahead and we'll print out a blank line system out print line and also copy this so what we're going to be doing is we printed out list two 
and then we're going to be adding all the stuff and stuff to list two and just go ahead and print out a blank line and print it out again so let's go ahead and run this and see how it worked as you see an original our original list was YouTube Google and dig and then we added this uh, add all method on it and then we print out a blank line for you know ease of viewing and then now our new collection is this combined with this so this is all the modified list to so that's that for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're probably going over more collection methods but like I said that's it that's all the time I have for now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later